Hi, welcome to this video dedicated to the new Archin uh, LCD 5802D, so including a DVR and a 40 channel uh, video receiver. So, uh, as you can see, uh, well, I was able to see uh, yesterday uh, in my first video. Uh, out of the box, uh, this uh, LCD is not very uh, uh, pale camera friendly and it's cropping uh, the image. So, uh, good news, um, I was mentioning the possibility to have a firmware and uh, just a few hours after the firmware appeared. So, I will show how to update uh, with the pale uh, uh, friendly uh, uh, this uh, FPV monitor. So, first of all, you need to uh, use uh, exit your micro SD card and to insert into a micro card reader. Okay, and uh, connect to your uh, PC and then you will have to go to the uh, Banggood pages, okay, uh, this one associated with the uh, LCD 5802D and here immediately you have this file to download so you click right click to save as and save this uh, that bit file, okay, so I already did it, so when it's done uh, you can go to the uh, directory where you save this file here and uh, then you will be able, if I uh, ins correctly inserted the micro SD card, it's another question, you will be able to uh, save on the root of your micro SD card this file, okay, so just copy it, okay, and on the root folder of your uh, micro SD card, okay, and then you will be able to flash the um, uh, uh, LCD, okay, so reinsert your um, FPV micro SD card into the micro SD slot, and then uh, you will have to power your machine, okay? So let's do it, and as you can see, I hope you should enter into the flashing firmware. You have this. Uh, uh, white snow pages, but it will return to the blue screen, okay? So it's still written firmware updating, and then when the job is done, you should see an OK appearing, okay? After, on the right side, done. So now you can turn off the uh, transmitter, and uh, it's normally no need to uh, uh, delete the file at the root folder, it's automatically deleted, and then it's assumed to be flashed now in a pale uh, um, firmware com compatible uh, system. So uh, we'll make some tests now. Okay, so I install outside a quadcopter uh, the uh, Etching Blade 185. So we're coming with GPS system and noise this, so it's di displaying a lot of information on the screen, especially on the bottom part. So we'll turn on the uh, uh, new uh, F5802D. So, um, I'm collecting some GPS information, okay, here, so the quad capture is a bit outside, the uh, FAB link is not, uh, maybe perfect. Anyway, I will start recording, so long press on the red button, and I have got this red small dot point appearing on the, on the uh, top uh, right, okay, I will record some few uh, seconds, okay, and, um, okay, let's stop recording. And then I will uh, go to the uh, menu to enter into the DVR and press the band, uh, the band plus button. So I will play, okay, and it seems that now, look that, the hours, the battery voltage, that, uh, and to play you have to press the red button. Everything seems uh, to work fine, okay, everything is appearing. Oh, maybe the low... Um, uh, some information below are still not yet visible, at least on the LCD screen. But there, are in a, there is an improvement, at least some information uh, was not appearing yesterday in the NTSC, is not appearing, but I can see uh, the, for example, low voltage or statistic here, uh, usually on the bottom. I can only guess the uh, first uh, uh, first line of this information. Let's return. Uh, you will show. Let's return in live. So I will exit from the band. Okay, you cannot read the disarm. So it's less cropping the image, but it's not yet uh, fantastic, at least on the FPV monitor. So maybe it's correctly recorded on the file. So I will turn on 
the um, um, FPV monitors, okay, and check that on the recording file. Okay, so I will uh, try to open the recorded file, this one. And uh, well, good news on the recorded file we played with on the PC, uh, the full uh, uh, sequence is appearing, so it's pretty good. So it's not appearing fully on the FPV screen when you're replaying it, but is is present in the uh, recorded file. Let's check the uh, media information about the file, for example. So if I display the uh, information about it, and now you can see it's correctly displayed in pale NTSC, okay, so 720 by 576 is pretty good, okay, so uh, it's the real pale format, that's pretty cool, uh, only 25 frames per second, but it's not bad at all, okay, so uh, the firmware should solve everything, okay, not yet perfect, because uh, the image is still a little bit cropped in the uh, uh, replay uh, sequence, but uh, it's uh, at least a pretty good news, okay, thank you for watching, See you next time. Bye-bye.